Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is your love scope for July. This reading will be a past, present and future reading. Just kind of looking into the energies that are going around at the moment with the Mercury retrograde and seeing, you know, what we have learned in the past, what we're currently learning and what's coming in the future. So let's get started. So the past what were we learning in the past we have the stars a long journey brings rewards that sounds interesting we have eight of swords we have the empress and we have diablo so in the past i feel like for you guys scorpio that you were you started your journey this journey of self-discovery this journey into your um soul connection your journey into you who you are and for feminines watching this you were on this path and journey towards um you know rising further as the divine feminine here um we have the eight of swords the eight of swords here is like you perhaps still had a little bit of um uh negative thoughts you were kind of trapped in your own head you made yourself um feel stuck with something that you were addicted to something that shackled you kept you bound perhaps a relationship that kept you bound in a place where you couldn't fully be the divine feminine and instead you were trapped you were trapped in your head you were trapped in a relationship perhaps but after this long journey you were perhaps able to kick these addictions and emerge as the divine feminine you also have unspoken words hidden and lost so i feel like this long journey what it brought was that you started seeing the hidden paths that you couldn't see before because you perhaps hadn't had the kind of exchange of words with yourself your higher self where you could see them they were hidden to you because you were navigating on a plane that was um was um all you could see one that was paved with things that shackled you stuff that kept you bound so you just felt more and more lost but once you started connected to connecting to your divine feminine and your higher self you start seeing the hidden things the hidden paths so all the stuff you went through then brought that journey to an end so you could start a new one one where you were walking this path that was previously hidden to you but was fated by the stars so let's have a look at where you are at currently in the present what's going on now we have the sphinx choose your words carefully interesting another card talking about words before we had unspoken words now you're using your words but you should um, be careful how you use them or what words you use we have temperance we have four of cups and we have king of swords so this to me is a twin flame angel soul connection angel who comes in and balances and heals that connection so this is perhaps to do with your divine counterpart the person you're watching this for or any per person that you have a strong connection to maybe there's been some kind of exchange of words that perhaps weren't very kind um that's why this angel has showed up to bring balance again and healing perhaps these words were exchanged in anger because of a missed offer somebody was offered a cup they didn't take it perhaps um you offered this cup and the person you're watching this for didn't take it and hence the words coming out that perhaps weren't too kind this could do with perhaps a um, person who was in the king of swords energy where they were being analytical they're being more into their head than their heart 
but they were speaking truth, but sharp truth perhaps that you weren't ready to hear. So in turn, you used your words as a weapon as well. We have soul connection, we have ancestry, and we have truth. I It's interesting that this card comes up on top of the king of swords because we have truth there as well so two cards talking about truth so when you're choosing your words the words to use make sure you are speaking your truth don't sugarcoat it but don't be like uh, ass about it but speak your truth as in your soul's truth this has to do with a soul connection so if you are thinking about a person you don't know what to call that connection or what it is, why you feel so strongly about them. That is because it is a soul connection. So this could be a twin flame or a soulmate. This, you know, you resonate with this person on a soul level. You have this pull towards them, they have a pull towards you, but perhaps you're in a place in your um, journey where you are constantly triggering each other, hence the exchange of words. What I'm seeing here is that look to your ancestors for guidance and help. You, like we saw here earlier, you've tapped into being your divine feminine. And this is not just for, for divine feminines watching, but also divine masculines watching. Because we both have divine masculine and divine feminine energy within us. So this is about also a divine masculine tapping into their divine feminine energy. And perhaps, you know, when choosing their words, use more um be a little bit more emotional emotionally mature with the words is what i'm trying to say so um look to your ancestors for guidance and help look for your elders for advice for um regarding this um situation and speak your truth when it comes to your soul connection but know that the angel or temperance is here helping you find balance and healing when it comes to this connection. And I just realized that here now we have people with wings, so angels are around you and guiding you. So know that you are protected and helped and guided. So the future, we have the siren. A temptation may lead you astray. Okay. Let's have a look what this has to do with. We have four of swords. We have hope and faith, and we have the Hierophant. So, when it comes to the future, it's important for you to kind of take the time to rest and restore and think about things as you move along. There will be people coming in and out of your life. Temptation may, they will bring temptations with them. But if you keep your um, self in alignment, with the universe this is the star card in traditional tarot if you keep yourself in alignment you can keep working towards getting to that you know solid commitment that coming together that you want straying perhaps and focusing yourself or on other things that doesn't give you enough time to restore yourself or rest might lead you off your path i mean i'm not saying you'll never get back on your path but it just get to take you longer to get there and if you do um follow these temptations there are lessons to be learned there anyway so it's not like it's a bad thing or anything but if you keep having your hope and faith and taking the time to restore and rejuvenate and keep being in alignment you will get to where you want to go what else do we have we have self-love we have give and take and we have strength. So this is all about you. Be the person you want to be and be the person you want others to be to you. As in, speak the words you want them to use to you. Do the things you want them to do to you. Have the self-love within yourself, but also towards others so you can find that equal give and take that balance what you give out to the universe universe you can get back it's also about what you think about you bring about so be kind to yourself keep your thoughts 
um, kind and positive. And this is why it's important for you to rest and restore so you can have that mental clarity. So you can keep having your strength. So you can gain more strength so that when temptations come your way, you can make an informed decision whether or not to I'm going to take this temptation. I know that this is going to lead me astray, but there will be lessons I'll learn and I'm happy to do that. It will take me further away from my end game, but that's okay because I'm here to learn and to go on this journey. So Scorpio, that was your reading. Hope that resonated for you. Please comment, like, subscribe and share if you feel so inclined and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.